So this is the thing. She's nervous and so she fights him. And then he fights back. And then they find an excuse. This is why. This is oh god, they get that from me. I know. Because I hear it from you too in lessons. <laughs> Don't touch his mouth too much. Talk to him. Love him. He's your baby. I'm getting more lonely. I know. So she's starting to get to that stage where Gabby was at your old bar. That's lovely. Yes. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I mean, she you don't really want to admit it, Fiona, but it is. Good boy! Yeah! Bring your legs back and ride! Like that's what I want. I want a horse that's just going to ride and I can just work on me. Is that what he's like? That's the horse. Yeah, I know. Both of those horses are this good one, for me. This one's a little bit speed slow, speed slow trot. Sure. Just stay in the trot. No, this one. He stays in the trot, but he kind of goes fast, slow, fast, slow. Yeah, that's what Stella does. Every time I kick her, she goes fast and she goes slow. Slow. I'm the opposite. He goes fast until he touches the rain, then he sucks. Well, that's good though. I, I want it. Like, I wish I could ride him one time though, because I feel like. like does that translate into the saddle? No. Because I'll pull on him and he'll do the same yeah. thing. Circle 20 meters. Bring your legs back around his belly and breathe. Pardon? Half the, half the ring. Yes.
go behind the green purple. She did it. Exactly. She knows what to do now. I think she should try one more time. I think he's going to do it bigger. Okay, well then Gabby has to do it. Okay, change direction. Good girl. That was amazing, Sophie. So now we know that she knows how to do it, but it's yeah. just scary. And you need to pick, get on him. Two more circles at a trot. Like, I get it. She's not, like, refusing to do it for no reason. No. Right rein. Right rein and just circle this corner. Yep. Quiet. So just breathe. I want you to just ask him like normal. We want him to act like normal. That's where she started into the grabbing of the face when she asked for the dinner. Look at, good job. And trot. So do you know why he's probably fine now, Sophie? Because you told him no. You told him no. So, so now I want you to ask him to canter and don't touch his mouth. Oh, you touched his mouth. Let trot. I want you to let him go four strides. Push your hands forward. One, two, three, four. Good. Now you can collect him. 
Good boy. Trot, change direction. My pony. So do you think it's like a Sophie issue? Like, cause she... I think Sophie just fixed it. I think Sophie fixed it too. So what we're going to do is next time we ride, we're going to do a little canner. On Wednesday. And we're going to pick his head up. No, going right into it. I ask him and that's it. Because look how nice and quiet this is, right? Because he just fixed it. Canter, hands forward, don't touch his mouth. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Don't use the whole arena. It's too hard on his feet. Just use this corner. Good. Circle. Good. Trot. This time when you ask him to canter, gently pick him up when you ask for the canter. So squeeze your fingers until you sit and ask for the canter. Squeeze. Better. Right rein is his better lead. He's not galloping. He is going fast. So you need to balance him with your inside rein up. Breathe, half halt your outside rein. There you go. You just have to elevate his shoulder. What he's doing is dropping his shoulder on you. If he doesn't get a chance to drop his shoulder, he can't turn and burn. Very nice. And walk. He's done. So tell, tell them what happened in your lesson, Sophie. Finn wanted to buck you off because Finn no, learned. Finn started bucking me off. Yeah. And I lost this story. This so story. then what did you do? Did you say yes, buck me off? Or did you say no way, mister? I'm just like, don't fall off. Okay? Right, so what did you do? Hold his head up because I don't give, I don't let that. Right, so, so that's right. She learned when he bucked her off the first time, he, she learned that's never going to happen again. And so she stopped him. And then what happened after you stopped him? What happened after you stopped him? Like, if I can't get away with throwing yeah. that rider off, I can't get away with this rider. That's right. You fixed him. You can fix your horse now. There should be no fear. You know what to do. Yes, listen. Do you understand? Yeah. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.